Okay, sleep deprivation. Did you know that one in three adults do not sleep well? They have sleep problems and it causes all kinds of problems in their life. Physical problems, emotional problems, uh, inability to focus at work, uh, inability to stay awake at work. Isn't it weird that you can't sleep in bed at night but you can sleep when you're at work? <laughs> break time, break time. Hey, I'm gonna teach you something today, I promise you, that can help you. Uh, my name's Royal Ferris, and I am in my backyard in Hearst, Texas, and this is my morning devotional. I do these Monday through Friday. Today's devotional is from Monday, March the 27th. Why don't I open us up with a prayer, and I pray the Lord's Prayer in my own way, and uh, just to get our minds ready to hear what God has for us. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning and we want to make you holy above everything else. We want to serve you. We want to uh, live for you all day long. Lord, uh, would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Father God, would you forgive us of our sins and point out the sins that we need to ask for forgiveness for? May we forgive those who hurt us instantly so that we're better and not bitter. Lord, would you protect us from the negative influences and the temptations in our lives. And may we give you glory today for every single thing that happens, good and bad, good and bad. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of different things that can cause sleep, and some of them are physical. And uh, you can fix them with exercise, you can fix them with medication, there's other things. But the one that's the kind of constant, even for people who have a physical sleep disorder, is the inability to rest our minds. And the hardest part about resting our minds is when we come to the point where we realize we're not going to sleep or we can't sleep, we actually have anxiety because we can't sleep and then that keeps us awake. Does that make sense? It does. So uh, what I've learned to do is to let that go. And uh, this, verse, this, this verse this morning, Psalm 63, 3, kind of, this is, this, is this is a purpose of it. This is the how to it. And, I'll t and then I'll tell you what I do. The psalmist writes, I lie awake thinking of you. Uh, that's the NLT version. The message version says, if I'm sleepless at midnight, if I'm sleepless at midnight, I spend the hours in grateful reflection. The NLT goes, I lay awake at night thinking of you, meditating on you through the night. Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. What I've learned to do is when I lay down, and this happens often because there's a lot of things that I have on my mind, when I lay down at night and get ready to go to sleep, if it starts to look like sleep is going to be a problem, I resolve in my mind that if I'm going to stay awake, I'm okay with that, that God's in charge. So I'll just say something like, okay, God, I'm... Um, I'm just going to sit here and focus on you. If you want me to pray for somebody, I'm going to pray for somebody. But I'm going to, I'm going to lay there and remember the things to be grateful for. Uh, it's that attitude of gratitude, or as the psalmist writes, the grateful reflection. And uh, and here's what I find: I normally fall asleep when that happens. When I stop worrying about falling asleep and start focusing on God. I fall asleep. Now, if I don't, I don't stress over that. It just, you have to try it to see how it goes. Uh, it works for me. You start, you get ready to go to sleep, you're having a hard time go to sleep, and you just go, and first of all, you just go, okay, God, if I'm, I'm just going to focus on you. If, I, if I'm not supposed to go to sleep tonight, I'm going to be okay with that. I put this in your hands. It really makes all the difference in the world. Here's the prayer that I wrote for today. Dear Heavenly, Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your love. Sometimes I lay awake at night and my mind is full of the world and worry. Then the worry that I may not be able to rest overwhelms me. Please forgive me. 
I will focus on you with gratitude. If I am awake, it will be with you and your love on my mind. Thank you for peace. Thank you for sleep. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that encourages you. I'm going to do another video that's not a devotional on um, on fixing the ability to sleep. But I hope this really helps. I would love to hear back from you. Uh, your comments and I'll reply to those. I hope this encourages you. If you think this will encourage somebody else, please pass it on. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe or my blog, subscribe. I really appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow, Tuesday, if the good Lord will and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God and love people and you will change the world. And he starts with you.